Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions Part 11. Real quickly, I want to apologise if you guys hear the wind throughout this part. Basically, it's super freaking windy today and I feel as if one of the trees that I am facing is gonna like blow over and I'm terrified. But hopefully that won't happen and if my microphone does pick it up then I am pretty sorry for that but there's nothing I can do because it's just super windy today so a lot of you have been commenting that I tend to focus on Ray a little bit and that is because Ray is a firefighter basically her job means that I have to watch her because the emergencies unless I'm on Ray then I don't know an emergency is going on and if she misses an emergency then I kind of feel a bit crappy because that is her job so um I do focus on Ray quite a lot, but quite a lot of you wanted me to focus on Eva this part, which I will try to do. Obviously, I will have to keep on checking in on Ray because you guys know that we need to. She, um, that is just the way her job is. But, um, basically, Eva, one of you guys, this was Jess Collins, said, Can you make Eva swipe some more things, please? She is a kleptomaniac, so I think today we will have her go and um, kind of meet some new people, maybe visit a couple of people's houses and just try to take some things, because why not? Everyone does have work, I'm fairly sure, today, because it is a Wednesday, so yeah, everyone has work. Ray's already in her gear. Um, Ray, can you come and brush him? and you can also talk to him and feed him a treat. Dobby, can you stop playing with your toy so Ray can give you a little bit of affection? And Bo's just working on his designs, which is fine with me. He does have work in one hour, so we'll definitely have to do his styling things. I might... I don't know whether I'm going to show his... If they're a big thing, then I'll show it. If it's just a little minor thing, like a hair colour or something like that, then I'll just skip over it because you guys don't need to watch that. I don't need to make you sit through it. We're going to have Eva just fix up the house and then I think we will focus this day. Today can be Eva's day and we can focus on her. A lot of you were also saying that you wanted me to train Dobby to hunt. And I thought that was a really cute idea. He will definitely bring in a little bit more money, um, not too much. And it's going to take a while for him to actually learn how to hunt, but we can get training him. I'm sure he'd be able to do it. Eva, are you almost done? Yes, you are right. Um, I'll just drag that over. And let's put one of these toys away before our whole house gets taken over by frickin' dog toys. And we have new higher wardrobe. And we have Fitzsim's wardrobe for Mary Baker. Okay, let's go perform this job first, dude. Um, they're all kind of house calls now. I don't know whether we'll be going back to the salon, whether that happens. But um, for now, they seem to just be... Uh, house calls for Bo and Ray you should go to work Dobby I think uh, do I want you to go to the fire station no Dobby can stay home today because we're not going to focus on Ray entirely so um, we'll keep him at the fire station but little Miss Eva where do I want you to go who do we know we know this guy we met this guy in the uh the very first part, but I really don't know where he lives. That's good and bad. Okay, so this is, um, these two live together. Uh, let's go visit Sinbad. Why not? We can hopefully steal from them. The house doesn't look very big though, so I don't know if it's going to have much stuff to steal, which is kind of annoying. Um, Bo, are you on your way? Yes, you are, and so is Eva. Charlie is still in bed because he went to bed pretty late. How close is he to a promotion? Okay. And Ray might get a promotion today. I'm not too sure. 
I'll, I think I'll just have her work on her athletic skill because she definitely needs to continue working on that and also her handiness. Bo is at this place. Um, now that I have a job, I'm going to find some new friends, preferably employed friends, higher up on the social totem pole, if you know what I mean. The first step to my superficial plan is to get more impress impressive clothes. So basically... He just wants a fake wardrobe to make him look better. Oh my god, we already gave you a makeover. This is Flamingo Guy. <laughs> we're gonna tell a joke. And, um, what else are we gonna do? We should, um, friendly get to know him. Can we get to know him? Where is he? Get back here, dude. Are you leaving? Seriously? You want a new outfit, right? He's actually a firefighter. I've never seen him at the firehouse before. Um, we're gonna discuss fashion. And we're going... Why don't you like us? Seriously. I don't know why he doesn't like us. We're gonna get to know him. Um, I, don't, I really don't know why he doesn't like us. We're gonna compliment his home a little bit. Maybe this will butter him up. And then we'll offer him a new makeover. Hopefully he'll like it, because he hated our last one. <laughs> so, um, we need to do quite a lot, actually, but I'm fairly sure he'll just want something superficial and something that people are going to think, oh, he has money, I want to be friends with him, <laughs> basically. So, let's offer him a, pro uh, a makeover. <laughs> Come on, Bo. We got this. We got this in the bag. We did already give him one, and I thought he looked quite good, but he really didn't like it, so we have to give him two new everyday wears, two new formal wears, a new hairstyle, and two athletic, I think, maybe? I can't remember what it was. I guess I'm just going to speed this one up for you guys, because it is quite a long one, and... Quite a lot of you do like to see the makeovers I give, so I will be back with you guys in a second. he now likes his makeover he seems to yes we did it we actually did it oh but they will not pay for a makeover if they have already received one in the past 24 hours are you kidding me he liked it but he didn't pay and we don't get his photo because he got one in the last 24 hours you my friend just cheated us out of money how dare you i didn't even realize that that was a thing Bo, go and perform your other job. Right, let's go focus on Eva. Oh, actually, I'm going to quickly set up um, Ray's day. So, uh, now that I have a job, I'm going to... Okay, we already read that one. Um, Ray, Ray, Ray. Those don't really need maintaining, to be fair. So, why don't you just go work on your athletic skill? Go and pump... Actually, do some cardio. Go in and work out on the treadmill. And then you 
we need to see if this guy has anything worth stealing. She, he really doesn't like us. He's a vampire. And, uh, yeah, he's just mean in general. He was the one who, like, um, yelled at all of us. Damn, I thought that was a TV. I want him to leave this room um, so that we can, like, steal this TV. Um, is there anything? There really isn't anything worth stealing. Oh, there's a guitar in here. Go in here, girl. <laughs> we are so mean. Is he leaving this room? I really want the TV. Because if we get a TV, then we don't... Oh, I thought that was a TV too. Damn it. All these, um... Right, we're gonna... Um, we are going to... Uh, scan the room. What? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. We are going to... Um, I really don't know why we can't swipe anything in this house. Eva looks confused as how I am. <laughs> she looks so confused. She's like, this isn't any fun. I can't swipe anything here, bless her. I don't know why why we just aren't getting the option to, but maybe we'll go to someone else's house. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Oh, that's our house. <laughs> I'm not going to go steal anything that's actually in our house. Um... I kind of want to go to like one of these rich houses and see if anyone lives here. We're going to go visit the Greenwood household because this house is gorgeous and I want to swipe something from it. Also we need to uh, do this makeover real quick as well. Um, fit Sims wardrobe for Mary Baker. Is that her? Mary Baker. Look at that. Look at that. I can't, I can't even think of a word to describe that. That fabulous beauty of yours. <laughs> we are going to get to know you a little bit. She wants a lot. She wants to get fit, to be fair. So she's going to need a brand new wardrobe. For when she starts slimming down a little bit, she can uh, have a whole new wardrobe. We're going to compliment her fashion sense, you know. She's dressing well for what she's got to work with, so good on her. But we're going to make you look ten times better. She is a baker though, so if I were a baker, I'd just eat all the stuff I made. So I'd probably end up looking like Mary too, bless her. But I'm sure we can sort something out. She is a natural cook, she is family oriented, and she is charismatic. So I think she's going to be going for something that's a little bit, I don't know, just kind of... She seems pretty plain Jane to me, like quite modest in the way she dresses and stuff. So let's offer her a makeover. She wants a lot though. This is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. She seems very nice though, so hopefully she enjoys it and she likes the makeover we give her and she'll pay us because one completely just, he just ripped us off like ridiculously so so i'm gonna quickly make over mary baker and i will be back with you guys in a second
Mary was a really fun sim to recreate and redesign. She is sassy as I love her and she really liked the makeover which is always good for us so hopefully we can take a picture. There we go. Oh pause 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 hold that pose girl. I can barely see you but um yeah we're gonna take that picture for our portfolio. There we go and ooh, where am I going? What am I doing? What's going on? Why can't I see in? Where the hell is Bo? I don't even know but he just styled Mary Baker and she liked it so uh, this sim this fit sims wardrobe has been uploaded to Bo's portfolio it's now 10% complete which is awesome so she really liked that which I'm so glad about Oh, she's responding to an emergency. Here was me like, oh yeah, we really have to focus on her, but she's handling it by herself, but I should probably head on over there just to um, make sure she is actually putting out the fire because it would be hell if she wasn't. So let's see, is there actually, yep, there is. We're gonna go extinguish these flames. Hopefully they're the only flames around. Oh no, there's quite a lot. Oh, okay. We've got this. We'll extinguish those ones. Are there any out back? Oh my god, the wind's really annoying me. <laughs> Sorry if I sound angered in this um, part. It's because of the damn wind. I can't actually believe how windy it is outside. It's ridiculous. Oh, we've got to extinguish all these flames. Come on, Ray, quick. Once we've done that, we should be able to break down the doors. How many sims are there? There's four trapped. Don't worry, we'll be able to get them out, guys. We've just got this one last fire to put out, and then hopefully we'll be able to break down all the doors. Ray, go and carry on extinguishing. Stop checking out your muscles. <laughs> Weirdo. She's on the job, and she's just like, I am looking fine. Just checking herself out, you know, as you do. I think if I were a firefighter, I'd be checking myself out too, because you know everyone else is. So let's break down this door. Come on, we put out the fire. Oh, is there another one? There is. Damn it, this is why I hate large house fires. You get one under control and then they all break out. Come on, Ray, you've got this. Right, let's break down these doors. So there's one in here. There's one in here. And there's some upstairs, which is fine. We only have to break this one. Um, we're going to convince you to run, and we're going to convince you to run. I swear Cat Hunter is always involved in an emergency. Like, all the time. We're going to break this door down and convince you to run. And then we're going to break this door down and convince you to run. Ray's got it all under control. She's like, get out of here! Why are you stood screaming when you can just run? <laughs> Bless her. Seriously, are you not even running? Everyone, get out. They're still screaming. Seriously, there's not even a fire anymore. You can run out here. You can genuinely just leave the house, but you choose to stay because you're a sim. <laughs> Go on, Fe Array. Not Ray. Not Faye. It's so confusing having a Fae and a Ray in two current Let's Plays. Let me just tell you, I apologise if I ever get names wrong because it just happens. Come on, everyone, get out of the flipping house. You can just leave. Oh, here we go. She is uh, currently at this really nice house. Holy moly, we chose a good place. But we still can't swipe anything, which is kind of annoying. Hi, Holly Greenwood. Um, I d we just kind of came to your house on the off chance that we'd be able to swipe something. Oh, and Ray just got a promotion. She is now fire captain. It's been a long time coming, but as the captain of the station, you are now the expert on frontline fire firefighting tactics. Point your team in the right direction and get every victim out alive. When it's when it's this hot, there's no room for error. And she got a new uniform, which is awesome. So she successfully handed a big emergency. How many sims has she saved? She saved six out of 30. So um, 
she's just got to continue working on up. She should head back to work though. And Charlie, I should probably look after you because you need to go to work soon. So uh, how about you use that? The dog's currently playing in a puddle. <laughs> Charlie looks like he's going crazy. For one, he hates kids, so I can bet he hates dogs as well. And he's just like, damn you, dog. <laughs> Bless him. Have you finished work? Oh, you don't finish work until 7, but I don't think there's anything for you to do. So you can probably head home, bud. And Charlie has available ghost work. I did really want to focus on Eva, but for some reason she really can't swipe stuff, which is kind of annoying. But why don't we tell a funny story to this woman? I don't know, maybe we have to be kind of acquaintances before we can steal from them? That wouldn't really make much sense, though, because, like, surely she should just be able to steal. What about if we go upstairs? Is there, like, a computer anywhere? There isn't. There's not much stuff we can actually swipe in this house. I thought it would be good, but there's literally like one tiny TV and that's it. Why are they all out on the yard? Why aren't they inside? <laughs> this kid sat on the pavement doing her homework. You have a really nice house, yet you choose to do your homework outside. Is home life really that bad? Do you really just have to wait outside until your mum allows you in? <laughs> I really don't know what's happening. Ray, I just wanted you to steal some stuff, but you can't. How about you just head home and go do some sculpting? Because she does um, need 400 simoleons until she can get a promotion. I'm really annoyed that she can't swipe anything. I don't know where the option went. We could do it in that one dude's house. Are we even friends with him? We aren't even friends with him, so I don't know why we could do it in his house and not anyone else's. It's a little bit weird to me. Have you gone home? Oh, okay, she's off the clock. Ooh, Charlie has work, doesn't he? I'm getting so, like, out of sync with everyone. Um, either you, my friend, can eat some leftover autumn salad and use the toilet and then you can continue your sculpture. Ray, can you repair the shower? And Charlie, you need to perform your job, my friend. You definitely need to get to work and sort out this town and rid it of all its ghosts because they're counting on you. Is he attracted to Bo? I did not know this. I swear everyone in this Let's Play is attracted to each other. Like, every day I'll get a new notification that's like, Hey, I'm really attracted to you. Apparently he's attracted to a, a ghost is attracted to him. Okay, as a ghost hunter, I feel as if you probably shouldn't start relationships with your, um, I don't even know what you would call them, enemies? Is, as a ghostbuster, is, is his, are ghost enemies of Charlie's? I don't know, but I'm fairly sure he should not start relations with them. I don't think that's going to be a very healthy, you know, groundwork foundation of a relationship <laughs> at all. Right, let's put to ease about loved ones and we should talk about her full life and of course put her at ease again and then convince to move on, hopefully. There are ghosts everywhere. Who do they think they are? Please catch them, zap them, offer them coffee, whatever. I want them out of my home. They're all like just chilling. This is the one that's attracted to us, so hopefully she leaves. Seriously, listen to us, Bianca. Don't ignore me. Charlie, freaking talk to her. I swear. Just do it. And this music's creeping me out. Seriously, we're gonna banish you because... I don't know why, but he doesn't want to speak to her, so I'm just going to banish her straight up. I'm going to tell you to leave. Bye-bye! You had your chance and you just wouldn't talk to us, so we're just going to banish you. Yep, see you, woman. And we are going to talk about this one's full life. What? Seriously, go away! We're going to talk about full life to this one, if she even wants to talk to us. Oh my god, why are they all ignoring us? Charlie, 
Seriously, you can't choose who you want to talk to or not. Just freaking get the ghosts out of here. This is so annoying. We're gonna convince her to move on. Oh no, we're not. We're going to put at ease about loved ones and talk about her full life again. And then we're gonna convince her to move on. And you will do the same. Hopefully, if she listens to us. Just go. Just leave. Thank you. <laughs> right, Jarrett, you're our last one. Let's see if we can do this. This music's really creeping me out, like, a lot. He apparently dislikes us, but all ghosts dislike us. See, she was flirting with us even when she disliked us. That is definitely not a healthy start to a relationship, <laughs> for sure. I really don't think we should ever pursue something with a spirit. That's not a good idea, I don't think. Come on, Charlie, got one more to convince. And then we have two more jobs to do, which is crazy. Calm down, Jared. Okay, we're just gonna banish you. We tried to, um, we tried to play nice, but you weren't having any of it. So we're just gonna banish you and you're never coming back. Seriously, did that not even work? Banish him, Charlie. You're doing rubbish. I don't know what's get, got into Charlie today. Come on, get in. There we go. We got rid of them, finally. Whew. That was like the worst one we've ever done. We have some other jobs to do, though. Um, so let's go and deal with the angry ghosts. And didn't we have another job as well? I'm fairly sure Charlie had three jobs on offer, but there only seems to be one. Maybe it was just one. Oh, well. Let's see how the others are getting on at home. That was stressful. I feel really stressed right now. Ray, I told you to fix that. Cause you need to you need to um get a shower anyway, so you may as well fix it. Eva, how are you getting on, dear? What are you even making? I have no clue. Yeah, you can go to sleep. Oh, tomorrow is a day off actually. So uh hopefully someone will be throwing a party and we can we can go and swipe some things with Eva for sure and um, stuff like that. Eva Cole has sculpted a you've got a big head in clay. It's only worth 96 which isn't too great. Right, we're just going to sell this I think. And I kind of want to make an ice sculpture of Ray. I really want to do that. I feel like these two need to be best friends like a lot. I think I'm just gonna chill with these two. Oh, Ray needs a shower though. Charlie, stop browsing the web. You actually have work to do. <laughs> okay, so we need to go and... How many are there? Two. These ghosts are so annoying. I really don't like them. Like, they barely listen to us. They stress me out. And then they just yell at your face. And I'm like, no, please just stop. <laughs> See, Charlie doesn't want to talk to them. Charlie, I swear. You're rubbish. If you don't want to talk to them, then we'll just banish them straight off the bat. And we're going to talk about full life and put to ease about loved ones. These are very angry ghosts tonight. Don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because he's a level 7 and the ghosts just get harder and harder every time. We're going to convince this one to move on. Calm down, Theopa Theophile? What? That's a really weird name. Where's the other one gone? This music though. <laughs> oh, he's here. Um, we're going to put to ease about loved ones and we're going to talk about full life. Come on, Charlie. You got this one. What's his name? They look exactly the same. Oh, he drowned. Bless him. That makes me sad. I do feel sorry for them, however they are all really angry and dislike us for no reason. I mean we're trying to help them move on and they just yap yap yap, they just give us grief back. <laughs> it's just not fun. Let's convince to move on on that one. Come on dude, it's okay, just let go. Just let it go, as Elsa would say. Those unruly ghosts were menace, thank you for your help. I don't know what I would have done. 
So there we go. We um, I think we completed all of his jobs for tonight. That was a very stressful night's work. <laughs> Even for me, who is literally just playing The Sims, I couldn't actually imagine being Charlie at that point in time because I would have just gone crazy and oh, the girls are asleep. I wanted them to like stay up and have like girly chats, but they're both asleep and I feel mean waking them up again. So I think I'm going to end this part here, guys. Sorry that it was a bit all over the place. I felt like I was all over the place in this part, but tomorrow everyone does have a day off. I think I'll have the girls hang out together. Um, Eva can get to know Ray and stuff because I know a lot of you have been wanting to focus on Eva a lot more and I feel like those two could have a really good friendship. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Also, thank you for your comments on the last part. I want to read one out that really entertained me, and this was by Avery, and it said, I think it would be hilarious if Dobby hated Lucy, and I thought that was a really good idea, because Lucy is a bit of a one. She's got a personality on her, and she really doesn't like Ray, so I thought it would be really good to go along with that, this idea and have Dobby, like, always growl at her and dislike her, and I thought, it, I think it would be really hilarious, so thank you for your comment and your idea. I just wanted to share that with the rest of you guys because I thought it was really funny. So yeah, if you have any comments or suggestions, do leave them down below and I will try and include them in my next video because I definitely want to get back into the routine of doing that because your guys' ideas are what make the Let's Plays. You guys always have really interesting things and takes on situations and things like that. So thank you all so much for your support. I love you all and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!